automation will help you convert more business and really help you focus your time on who you can actually work with to get business, right? So here's some of the response rates um, in some of our different campaigns, anywhere from, you know, 71%, which is definitely an outlier. That's a very high response rate, um, down to our average of between 52 and, and 48%. So using automation helps you just get that initial contact so that you can focus your time on the people you can actually help. Um, so more contact attempts leads to more conversions, right? So um, very similar to what Luke talked about yesterday, right? Most people aren't going to contact on the first attempt. And I think it's at the sixth attempt is when you actually start having a reliable, fairly high amount of um, conversions. And so let's just look at a hypothetical situation where you're following up manually with your leads every day, not using any automation. Um, if your process for following up with leads is to call them one time, text them one time, and email them once a day, then the first day you have five leads come through your online marketing, whether it's through Facebook, YouTube, you know, however you're generating your business, um, you have to do five calls, text, and emails. Pretty easy. The next day it's 10, the next day 15, then 20, then 25, then 30. All of a sudden, within one week of you generating five leads a day, you're having to text 30 people, email 30 people, and call 30 people every day. And that number just continues to grow as you continue to do your outreach to, to reach the number of people you actually need in order to convert and, and have a big business and really make an impact on what you're doing. So using automation allows you to focus your effort on the two most important groups of people. Those who respond positively saying, yes, I'd love to get some more information. How can you help me? Can we talk on at Tuesday at three o'clock? And those who haven't responded yet. A no response to your automation is super valuable. It allows you to save your time and energy. You don't have to reach out to that person anymore. They've already told you they're not interested. They don't want your help right now. And that's fine. Let them sit in your database. And we're going to talk about how you can convert them into business down the road. But when it comes to automation, your initial goal is to get people to respond. You engage them on a level that is based on the response, obviously. So if they say they want help, then you help them. If they say they don't, then you don't, right? Or you can re-engage them as you like. And using automation really allows you to save your time by splitting that group into three people, right? You have people who haven't responded yet. You have people who say yes and want help and people who say no, and you don't have to worry about your time wasting there. So all of a sudden now your, your contact, if you're having a 50% response rate, half of your people are responding and you're going to know immediately yes or no if that's worth your time to follow up with those people. In my experience, around 20% of responses are positive. So it allows you to really weed out like 20 to 30% of your entire lead database as people who say no and you can save your time and energy that way.